Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Gail and today we're going to do a total body workout in just 10 minutes. So we're going to do some hamstring openers, some quad stretches, some core work, some twists, and you should feel really great by the end of this 10 minutes. So let's start on our backs with our legs in bridge position, feet hip distance apart. On your inhale, lift your hips up as you reach your arms over your head. And as you exhale, lower your hips down and your arms down by your side. We're gonna repeat this a couple more times. So inhale, hips lift, arms stretch overhead. Exhale, back slowly lowers down, hips touching last as your hands rest by your hips. Lift up on the inhale and on the exhale, lower down. Now you can make this more demanding or challenging by pressing your feet a little bit stronger into the floor to engage all your muscles. And you can decide just how much energy you want to put into pressing your feet down. But the idea here is to get the spine moving. Now walk your feet a little bit away from your hips. And we're going to lift our hips up, but not as high as before. So just kind of in line with our knees to our shoulders. And then isometrically drag your heels toward your hips and you'll feel those hamstrings light up. And if you want, you could walk your feet out a little bit further, increasing the difficulty or not. And then walk your feet back to where they started. Hold for a few breaths. And slowly lower the hips down. And then lift your arms up and your legs up together, keeping your low back flat on the floor. If you want, you can reach your arms over your head, which makes it a little more challenging than having your arms facing, like reaching towards your feet. The idea is to keep the low back flat and to work those deep core muscles. And bend your knees, roll around in your hips. And we're gonna come up and onto our bellies. So reach your arms forward, point your toes behind you, and on your inhale, reach your arms and legs up and hold here. So this is similar to what we were doing on our back, but instead we're on our belly, so it's gonna feel a little bit different, but it's still gonna work those deep core muscles. And bring your hands back by your shoulders, curl up into your cobra, using those same muscles we were just engaging. And walk your arms forward, coming into Sphinx pose, and let your low back relax. So think of getting your low ribs closer to the floor and creating more space in your low back. Keeping that space, bend your left knee, reach back for your left foot with your hand, and gently pulse your heel closer to your hips, and then a little bit further away. So we're going deep into the stretch, but then letting go a little bit. If your heel is right by your hip, you might be able to rotate your fingers forward in the same direction as your toes. And try not to overdo it here, but just listen to your body and kind of go with, go with the flow, with the flow of your energy. And we'll switch sides. So right knee bends, right hand holds, right foot. And those little pulses. This can be a pretty intense stretch, but I feel like this is one of the easier quad stretches to do. So a little bit in and out creating more tension than releasing some of that tension. Release your foot, tuck your toes, and come on up into tabletop. Sit back on your heels for child's pose. And we'll work the spine. So breathe into your back. Feel the ribs expand and release. And then tuck your toes, Shift your hips back. And lift straight up into downward facing dog. So bend your knees and then straighten the legs. Just going back and forth, feeling the difference in your hamstrings, different in your legs. And then inhale, round forward to plank. And exhale, arch your back, back to downward facing dog. So inhale, the belly lifts, the back rounds, coming forward and exhale, the hips lead the way. 
So see if you can find a fluid like motion here, just gliding forward and back. This is one of my favorite things to do. I just love this. My back feels so good. Then hold your down dog. Reach your right leg up into down dog splits. Bring your foot all the way forward to your hands. Engage both legs, lower the left knee down and inhale, reach your arms up. And lift up through your chest. Then bring your left hand down and twist open to the right. Bring the right hand down, twist open to the left. Bring both hands down, lift your back knee up. Straighten your front leg by pulling your right hip back and lean forward towards your toes. And you can alternate picking the front of your foot up, keeping your heel down and lowering the front of the foot down. And then we'll come up into crescent lunge. So inhale, rise up, keeping the legs nice and strong. Do that same lift up through your heart. Just like in Cobra, reaching the heart up, stretching the fingertips back. Then lower your hands down, step back, downward facing dog. We'll do the left side. So inhale, reach the left leg up. Exhale, knee to chest. Step your foot all the way forward. Lower your right knee to the ground. And inhale, chest up, arms up, low lunge. Lower your right hand down and twist open to the left. Then lower the left hand down, twist open to the right. Leading from your ribs, from the shoulder, not the hand. And lift your back knee up, straighten the front leg. Reach forward over your leg, lift the front of your foot, lower it down. Feel the difference when the front of the foot is lifted and when it's on the ground. And then inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. Again, lift your heart up toward the sky, a little bit of a back bend here, perhaps. And lower your hands down, step back, downward facing dog. Look towards your hands, walk your feet forward to your hands. And then inhale, lift up to a flat back. Exhale, bow. And inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, hands to your heart center. On your inhale, sweep your arms up. And on your exhale, forward fold, touch the earth. Inhale, lift your chest away from your thighs. Exhale, place your hands down, step back to plank. Lower your knees to the floor, bend your elbows, slowly lower your chest all the way down to the floor, and point your toes, curl up into your cobra. It's important to use your legs as well as your upper body in cobra. Then lift up and back into downward facing dog. Walk your feet in a little bit, reach your right leg up, and on your exhale, bring it forward into your lunge. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. And exhale, open up, warrior two. Reach back, reverse your warrior. And windmill the arms, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale, knee to chest, step your foot all the way forward. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. And then rotate the back heel down, open up, warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, reach back. Or your exhale, just using your breath, reach back, reverse your warrior. And windmill the arms, step back, downward facing dog. And look towards your hands, bend your knees, and lightly step or hop forward. Inhale, lift up, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, touch the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Now we're gonna come into a squat. So widen your feet as wide as you need. Turn your toes out as much as you need to. And just start to circle around. If you can't get your heels to the ground, you may wanna support your heels on a blanket. And just feel your weight shifting around in your ankles and then lower your hips down. And without using your hands, slowly curl your back and lower one vertebrae at a time until your shoulders touch down. Then hug your knees into your chest. Gently rock around on your hips. Side to side and in circles. Bring your feet up and we're coming into happy babies. You can hold your feet, your ankles, or the backs of your thighs. 
Whichever place you can reach, keeping your shoulders and your hips on the floor. Try and parallel your feet to the sky as much as you can and rock from side to side. You lower your feet to the floor, keeping your feet as wide as the mat and begin to twist your legs from side to side. Nice and slowly. You can feel the stretch in both legs, getting the knees as close to the ground as you can in your twist, making the motion fluid and free. And hug your knees into your chest again, give yourself a little squeeze, and stretch out for Savasana. Just let everything relax. Let your ribs soften into the earth. Feel your whole body connecting with nature, with the earth, no matter where you are. Visualize it in your mind, feeling the power of nature, your own true nature, feeling how your body has maybe woken up. I would encourage you to share this video with your friends, hit the like button, subscribe, that would be really great. Uh, leave me a comment, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for spending time with me.